Russia says it's going to mass produce a new type of cluster bomb that's supposedly invisible to radar. Russian state media reports the drill, or drill in Russian, is a new type of glide bomb made by the state-owned Rostec Defense Conglomerate. Drills are some of Russia's newest weapons, so there aren't a whole lot of publicly available details on them. But they are aerial bombs, so they'll need some sort of delivery system, like strapped to the belly of a jet bomber. The Russian government says the drill achieves independent glided flight by using deployable wings. The United States makes use of similar technology with ground-launched small-diameter bombs. Ukraine got some GLSDBs from the U.S. We reported on that a couple of times last year. You can check out the stories at san.com if you want more info. Back to Russia, where the Kremlin says its new glide bombs are also resistant to radio jamming and can avoid radar detection making the weapons more difficult to destroy, if true. Russia says the Drell is a cluster munition as well, so instead of creating a single explosion when it detonates, the Drell releases smaller explosive devices called bomblets above its target. Those bomblets are typically spread across a wide area, killing or damaging anything or anyone close enough to the detonations. Not every bomblet always explodes, though, which means the undetonated ordnance poses a threat for years to come, to both soldiers and civilians alike. That's why cluster bombs are banned by more than 100 countries. So why do the US, Ukraine, and Russia still use them? In essence, because they're good at what they do. When troops and equipment are in the open, a handful of cluster munitions flinging potentially hundreds of bomblets can take out large numbers of troops, equipment, and lightly armored vehicles all without leaving massive craters or destroying entire buildings. The United States military says it limits the use of cluster munitions to military targets. There is plenty of evidence, though, showing Russia does not hold itself to the same standard. And while critics of cluster munitions say the U.S. should not be sending any to Ukraine, the Ukrainian military says, send us all you got. Ukraine is heavily outmanned and outgunned by Russia, so they see cluster munitions as a great equalizer in the conflict. Ukraine, in fact, used a small number of attackums missiles carrying cluster munitions to take out 14 attack helicopters at two different airfields back in October.